Hello. In this video, we'll be using the definitions of work and acceleration to derive equations for potential energy due to gravity, and that's the energy that an object has based on its position in a gravity field, and equations for kinetic energy. We'll start with the definition of work. Work is force times displacement. Really, it's the dot product of force and displacement, meaning only the horizontal component of force, uh, sort of the component of force that acts in the direction of displacement contributes to work. So the full form of this equation is work equals force times displacement times cosine theta, where theta is the angle between these two vectors. But if the, all of the force is acting in the direction of displacement, then the angle between them would be zero, and the cosine of zero is one, and the equation just sort of simplifies to this. So we'll consider the case where all of the force is acting in the direction of displacement. Here we'll use the symbol W for work, and that equals force, and I'll use the letter S for displacement. From Newton's second law, we have that force is equal to mass times acceleration, and we'll say F equals ma. Let's begin with the case of lifting an object vertically in a gravity field. Or we could say, you know, only the component of uh, force that we exert in the vertical direction contributes to work. And so even if we lift an object sort of uh, at a diagonal, um, really the only potential energy that, you know, is going into it is in the vertical direction anyway. And that's sort of why we can use the definition of work here to get an equation for potential energy due to gravity. So we think about what force is required to lift an object, and that force is the force due to gravity, or the weight. And weight is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity, uh, which we'll use lowercase g as is the convention, local g. 9.81 meters per second squared here on Earth. <clears throat> Because the displacement is vertical, we can call it h for height. And so the force that's needed to lift an object is the weight mg, and the displacement is a height h. And so here we have an equation for work, which is equal to the weight mg times the displacement h. And the work that we do lifting an object with weight mg in a gravity field uh, height h, the vertical displacement h, we call that the potential energy due to gravity. And it's equal to mgh. Now let's consider the case of an object which uh, changes its velocity. In a previous video, we derived equations for motion, and the fourth equation of motion is that the velocity squared is equal to, the final velocity squared is equal to the initial velocity squared plus two times the acceleration times the displacement. So now if we consider Newton's uh, second law, and again, the definition of work, which is force times displacement, let's see what we get when we combine this. So we have work equals force times displacement, and from Newton's second law, we know that force is mass times acceleration, still times displacement out here. And we know if we reorganize this equation, we could say that v squared minus u squared over 2s is equal to a. Right, just by doing some algebraic reorganization here. And so if we substitute this in here for acceleration, let's see what that gives us. So we have the work done is equal to mass times acceleration is v squared minus u squared over 2s times the displacement s. And so here we can see that uh, s divided by s is gonna be one and the work done in sort of moving an object from initial speed u to final speed v is going to be equal to m times v squared minus u squared over 2. 
if we were to sort of distribute m here, we'd have mv squared minus mu squared over 2. And then we can break that apart and write it as 1 half mv squared minus 1 half mu squared. And 1 half mv squared is the kinetic energy of an object. And so here we see that the work done to an object is equal to the change in the kinetic energy of the object. And this is called work kinetic energy theorem. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. And so an object that has mass m and speed v has kinetic energy 1 half mv squared. Uh, that's considering the case where an object may start at an initial speed of zero, and so this term here would be zero, and we could just kind of think about that as the equation of kinetic energy. But indeed, if we change an object's kinetic energy from sort of any non-zero value, we could think about that that change in kinetic energy is equal to the work done as derived here.